Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a BOJ Tuesday, 20th of December. Fairly fucking jaded this morning. Uh, we sold dollar yen last night at the fix, 137. We bought half back at 136.80 with a sway to 137.20 stop. Obviously, we got dinged overnight. The high was 137.50. Here we are, 133.18. Um, this is overdone. This doesn't make any sense to me. Changing the yield curve a little bit um, is such a tiny, tiny little maneuver. Kuroda is very fucking dovish right now. Um, we are not fading this because it just looks a little hysterical. Feels like people just got fucked on positioning. This has gone, you know, even though we thought this might go down a little bit, this has gone way further than we thought it would. Um, but do not like being short dollar yen at 133.24. Uh, so... Anyway, but our focus is going to be elsewhere. We've got a few interesting things going on. Uh, dollar yen, we can cry and cry in our spilt milk, uh, or we can just move on. We're moving on. U.S. yields higher now, uh, 371 overnight. This should be uh, supportive for dollar Swiss. You can stick a bit in, buy low ones today. Also looks like euro wants to turn, right? 75 the low, this is going to be the point. Uh, should be pretty bang bang here. Um, maybe when the systematics turn on in 50 minutes, this is going to happen. Euro lower. Um, let's see. Also, the dollar CAD chart is worth a look now. We have one, two, three, four, five highs now at 137. And then we have CAD CPI today, 230 Swiss time. So this looks ripe. Um, if CAD CPI is lower, there will be all kinds of risk above 137.04, so keep an eye on that. Uh, what else is going on out here? Cross yen is obviously everything's on its knees. Um, we're not touching any of that. You know, we had the good short position. We got stopped out. Boo-hoo. Um, no time for a pity party here. Let's take a quick look at stocks, and then I got to get back to this. Um, yeah, stocks got smashed yesterday. Thirty-eight twenty. Where is this going to close at the end of the year? I don't know. I have a feeling it's going to close at forty-one twenty, but it looks pretty bearish at the moment. Um, this is also probably a signal for some dollar strength you know these there is a correlation between stocks um, down and dollar up anyway uh, I got trading to do here so just wanted to share a couple of ideas you know we're looking at euro downside um, especially as we accelerate through 105 75 we'll be selective and try and buy some low ones in dollar Swiss today um, and then we'll be watching CAD uh, at 2.30 Swiss time. Got a hot people. Talk to you later. Ciao.